give a Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing an all-day wear test on the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24-Hour Foundation. It has a sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 25, is in one standard fluid ounce, has a pump. I'm using it in the color 425. And that name is something something. 425 Linen. Okay, so I did my makeup everything sat up the way that it should so good there really like that i'm going to try to do a midday check-in those are really hard for me on a work day because even though i will stop to get lunch usually it's on my way somewhere else and so yeah i just don't ever really have a moment during the work day because i don't take breaks but if i get an opportunity to actually sit down and eat and not on the go I'll probably do that. Okay, so the L'Oreal Paris Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear. I did have to use four pumps to get my the color or the coverage where I wanted to and then of course a little bit down my neck. So that part was, you know, that's kind of a lot of pumps. It feels really kind of watery and light versus some um, maybe full coverage foundations. And that's for someone like me who's got a lot of red in their skin, I kind of either have to build up a lighter coverage or I do need kind of a more heavier coverage just because my skin is not good starting out. And you'll get to see that in a minute. Although it's not as agitated as it normally is, but it's still, I don't have great like flawless skin. So just kind of want to let you guys know that if you're looking for a full coverage, you're going to have to build this one up. And that's what I did. It sits in the skin really nice and really pretty. I put on my concealer and powders and I did my finishing spray and everything looks really, really nice starting out. So I'm already excited about that. I've got my fingers crossed. I think my sister-in-law did a review on this and I remember telling her that I needed to check my box of foundations to test. So I will link her video to this one. If it's not the one I'm thinking of, if this is not the right product that I'm thinking of that she did, I'll still link her video down below because she always does a great job on reviews. And Sabrina is just pretty dang amazing as a person, but also as an honest YouTuber. So I'll put her video below on the one that I think it is. I think these are the right products or the same products. I guess I should have figured that out first, right? Okay, y'all. So here we go. We're going to go into me putting it on so you can see where the redness started in my face, how I built it up, and yeah, here we are. All right, today we're going to try the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear, so we'll see how this goes. I got this in the color 425 Linen. We're going to start out with my normal Scandinavia. It's got a nice little pump. It's in one fluid ounce. Okay, so for me to get the coverage I want for my face and neck, it looks like about four pumps. I think it's because this is so light. It feels very watery, or just light, very light. Maybe watery is a good... It is in the skin really nice. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of my makeup like I normally do, and I'll check back in. Okay, since I have finished my makeup... My makeup has set really nice on top of this foundation. So we are going to add the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. And we're going to see how this baby performs all day. Okay, it's the end of a day back in my jammies. Because jammies are the best. Jammies are the best. Miss Sis, don't you agree? Jammies are the best. Anyhow, so it is end of the workday. It's been... 10 hours, so a short work day. Let's check out what we got going on. Okay, totally didn't think this foundation was gonna work. 
I was a little worried with how watery it was compared to a full coverage foundation, but here I am. All right, let's talk about the spots. I did wear my glasses today, although today this is much lighter than the same time frame I did an all day wear test, meaning 10 hours with the East St. Laurent. If you looked at that, oh my gosh, at the end of the day, like you could, it even dug into like under eye right here where my makeup was missing and it was a greasy mess. So I, I'm not surprised that I'm missing my glasses with how they sit on my face. My chin is broke apart towards the end. I did try to put a little bit more concealer on to see if that would work and it didn't. As far as my forehead goes, much better than the Yves Saint Laurent that I used yesterday. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this foundation. I just can't get over the fact that as far as weather goes, the weather was very similar today that it, than it, as it was yesterday. <coughs> can't get it out. Today's weather was about the same as it was yesterday except today I was out in the elements more I was moving around uh, was out and about so walking a lot more not sitting just in an office with air conditioning so I have to say by far if I had yesterday's review with this one and today's review with the L'Oreal I'd hands down go with the L'Oreal and talk about a huge price difference. This one is just fresh in my mind because I just did the all day wear test, finished it yesterday, but wow, absolutely wow. So I can see why this has became, become some lady's favorite. I have to say that once again, the drugstore foundations continue to be fantastic and it's absolutely exciting to see a, a drugstore foundation outperform a very high end pricey one. It really says a lot about some of these drugstore foundations lately that I've been trying. Where the heck have they been my whole life? Where have they been? So, at the drugstore with me, not trying them. I would really like to hear your thoughts on this foundation. Have you tried it? What's your color? What's your skin type? Um, did you have great luck like I did? I, I'm pretty pumped. If I hadn't worn my glasses today, I think this would have looked even better. I would have to say it would look even better. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about this one. I'm totally excited to hear about what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for joining me today using the L'Oreal Infallible Up To 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I like that they put up to 24 hour. They're giving themselves an out. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. Make it a great one. Until next time.